Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can start a YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mildred and uh, for those of you returning, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start with the video. The biggest question many people have is how to actually get started, uh, like what to think about before starting a YouTube channel. And my advice and that of many other YouTubers is, is to just get started. Getting started uh, with whatever you have, like any idea that you come across and you're like, that's interesting to me and I would like to share it with people, make sure you take that and you create your youtube and you create your video and start your channel if you do so and you realize that you don't really like uh the video in the long run you can always delete it but the main fact but the main factor is that you just get started and then you will develop as you go along the way another helpful tip would be to build your brand before you start a youtube channel i've seen many people who have a large uh instagram following or tiktok following maybe facebook as well uh, once they start a youtube channel it uh, automatically grows because of the followers they have from other platforms so making sure you build your brand out outside other platforms is going to be beneficial for you if you want to start a youtube channel so now to get into the nitty gritty of your actual channel uh, the first thing you need to do is to invest in the quality of your content for many startups you don't really need a an expensive camera and lights and anything like that but if you have a smartphone that will do for your first few videos uh, just to see if YouTube is for you instead of buying something expensive and then realizing that you don't really want to do YouTube now you are stuck with expensive equipment and you don't know what to do with it so the equipment you are going to need is a smartphone if you already have a camera that's great you can use your camera but if you don't just use the smartphone that you have most smartphones nowadays have uh, really good quality and you can shoot your content on those and uh, and upgrade as you go along another thing you need to look out for is the lighting in your videos most beginners rely on natural light and, and that is one of the best sources of lighting you can actually use for your videos but if you have the money you can always buy a small ring light to start your youtube channel or maybe get uh, some soft boxes that are not really expensive and in that way your videos are going to have the highest quality possible and as you go along the way you can then invest in the more high-end um, equipment and the two final things you need to consider when filming your videos are the audio and stability of your video if you can get a small microphone for your filming devices uh, most of them are not really expensive you can find them on amazon or maybe at some tech uh, stores near you these don't really go for a lot of money so if you would like to so if you would like invest in a microphone from the get-go but otherwise just use the uh, just use the internal mics uh, in your devices lastly the stability of your videos is going to play a major role in your videos um, if you are a vlogger you can move with your camera that's that there's no way to avoid that uh, unless you get a a handheld stab stabilizer but if you are not a vlogger make sure that you film on a steady surface make sure that you film on a steady flat surface uh, maybe if you don't have a tripod you can use uh, you can stack um, books or something uh, that can hold your phone or your camera that's literally all I did when I first started my videos I would stack uh, my books or maybe a box or two and then put my phone on top of those and then film my videos and in that way I avoided any kind of shaking in my videos uh, as you do not want that for your videos because it tends to annoy your viewers so if you are enjoying this video uh, so far please subscribe to my youtube channel that would make that would mean a lot to me um, and do give it a like and uh, maybe leave a comment in the comment section below and I'm gonna go ahead and continue right now people will tell you to niche down as soon as you start your channel but that is 
really not uh, what I would advise. Um, you need to test the waters with a few things. Uh, if you have at least three niches that are closely related to each other, uh, I would say that's a good start. For example, if you are into beauty, you can always do makeup videos, you can do hair videos, and you can just do lifestyle videos, uh, like showing whatever it is that you think people might be interested in. And as you can see, you've covered three niches already, but these are closely related together. So you are going to attract uh, an audience with the similar with interests that are closely related to your niches and that way you automatically gain loyal subscribers to your channel another thing you need to be aware of is that you need to make sure that you make content that is either valuable or entertaining or if you can make sure that or if you can uh, mesh the two together and make entertaining valuable content many people come to youtube either to learn or to uh, unwind so making sure that your making sure that your your content has uh, some sort of value in it or some sort of entertaining factor to it uh, that is going to bring you subscribers who uh, will ultimately become your become a part of your family um something you also need to do is upload consistently um this is very challenging for many people because youtube is not um they are only youtube is not the only thing that they do uh, many people have school or work or other responsibilities that they need to take care of so uploading consistently is really challenging for most people but try to have a set schedule that you uh, will try by all means to follow the least you can do is upload at least one video a week and that's going to give you four videos a month uh, that's a fair that's a fair number to start with but if you really want to grow you can definitely do two to three videos a week if you have the time and that is going to give a lot of exposure to people and then you may gain followers and then you may gain subscribers in that manner because your video because the more you upload the more people get to see your videos uh, yeah something you need to keep in mind is that you, you need to make sure that when you start your video it is very straight to the point and you start in a strong uh, entertain in a strong captivating manner so that uh, the first few minutes hook your viewer and uh, they and that way your video has a chance of being watched uh, all the way through and then YouTube can push your video to more people who will ultimately uh, become subscribers uh, when starting your video you need to avoid talking about yourself or your channel in a lengthy manner just stay just uh, greet your people and state the point and maybe maybe your name and then go straight into the video Having long introductions is not really how you hook the audience, so try to avoid that. Uh, the two things you also need to be aware of is, is your thumbnail and your editing style. Uh, you need to invest more time in this because uh, firstly your thumbnail is what attracts people to your channel uh, unless if these are people coming from your socials after, sharing your, after you share your video. But for YouTube to push the video to different to people who are not uh, associated with you anyhow, uh, your thumbnail needs to be eye-catching so that it grabs the attention of those viewers and then they click on your video. Your editing style is also said to be beneficial to your videos. Uh, people say that editing in a way that is catchy and uh, trendy is going to help you uh, attract followers. You can also add things like uh, different transitions in your videos and maybe music in your videos and then that way your people are that way your viewers are kept entertained and hooked and they want to see more of what you will do next finally you need to use uh, YouTube optimization apps um, apps like TubeBuddy or maybe using the YouTube studio are going to help you uh, learn more about your audience once you start gaining an audience these are going to help you learn more about your audience and they are going to help you uh, figure out what topics are trending uh, and whether your videos are set up in a way that is going to 
benefit your channel for example did you use the right tags did you do you have a high resolution thumbnail did you use all of the things that are going to benefit your video uh, finally I'm going to say it is never too late to start uh, YouTube there are so many people on YouTube and all of them most of them are benefiting from the app and most of them are benefiting from the platform so if you feel like you are somebody who is passionate about YouTube and would like to explore that front then you should definitely go ahead and post your first video do not be afraid just uh, put yourself out there and you will see where it leads you otherwise if you do not start then you will never know what could have been uh, so be sure to start your YouTube channel and with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button below as well as the notification bell. And if you have any questions regarding to what I've just shared with you guys, you can leave everything in the comment section below and I will get back to you either with another video or I will respond to your comment. And finally, make sure to like the video. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video.